Namaste, Bia. Namaste, everyone. So we are practicing exercise one, and we were practicing step two of exercise one. Now we had a lot of discussion yesterday regarding evaluation of the feeling yesterday. So I'll go over it briefly, and then we'll also talk about the assignment and take reflections. So exercise one is observing the self by the self. That is observing the consciousness by the consciousness. In step one of exercise one, we try to be aware of the imagination. that is desire thought and expectation and that to every moment in the imagination we try to be particularly aware of the feeling which is driving my thoughts and expectation and we could also discuss certain issues that we face while observing the feelings in step 1 we are saying that no need to evaluate judge react whatever just observe the feeling as it is once we are able to do this then in step 2 we can evaluate the feeling and see whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not in other words i can see whether i want the continuity of or, of it or not or i is it in accordance with human nature or not so first of all i have to observe my feeling okay, and then evaluate it in step 2 no need to mix it up with that we only we have shared this assignment yesterday based on the discussion that we had so observe your imagination particularly the feeling in the imagination all the time find out for how much time in a day you are aware of the feeling this is also something to be articulated for how much time in a day i am aware of the feeling then evaluate the feeling that you have every moment is it naturally acceptable to you or not do you want to continue with that feeling or not then find out if you are evaluating the feeling or merely analyzing it or judging it or reacting to it or justifying it or negating it are we doing any of these mistakes now what happens when i go to <clears throat> evaluate the feeling okay i may start reacting or may call it good or bad by judging it or in place of keeping on observing the feeling and evaluating i may start analyzing i may start thinking on those lines or i may just try to come out of it because i am not finding it acceptable naturally you know but i am not able to see that it is not not naturally acceptable only that i am uncomfortable so i am trying to come out of it or if it is favorable i try to continue with this i try to enforce it so many things might happen these are certain mistakes we commit even though we are able to observe the feeling so to be with your feeling gradually persistently you know, and then <coughs> evaluate it is something which is doable find out if you are able to do steps 1 and 2 properly or getting anxious to get the outcome of the exercise this is also a common mistake that while observing we are not able to get into the process of observation we just try to jump to the conclusions or try to expect you know some outcome out of the effort so i observe for some time and then i feel that okay now my meaning feeling should be set right now i should not have any contradiction in my thoughts now you know there should be no such issue in my imagination so it may be the case right and we had also said that every 4 hours you try to observe try to note down make it a task as we have our routine in day to day life that we follow from morning till night make it also a part of routine as we have scheduled for breakfast lunch tea dinner snacks all those things no make it also that every 4 hours so maybe we are observing at this hour you know, by 10 am i can observe for some time then by 2 pm i can observe again by 6 pm i can observe again and before sleeping around 10 i can observe again i can observe and note down and i can have this kind of imagination that i am there my feeling is there i have to be aware of my feeling and i have to transform my feeling you can also see what triggers your feeling at times what triggers opposition in you what triggers some favorable sensation in you what triggers some unfavorable sensation in you unfavorable feeling in you all those things you can be aware and we'll talk about sensation later when we talk about exercise too but you are there with your feeling and you are observing it on a routine basis so this is also something that we can plan isn't it the more serious we are towards these things 
we'll see our priority shifts. Presently, when our priority is something outside, it can shift to inside. I'm working inside. Okay. We generally do not consider it as a doable task or as a project kind of thing. Right? Whenever we are disturbed, we try to resolve ourselves. We try to come out of the problems. We try to pacify ourselves. But we do not make it a routine as we do for ourselves, as we do for our body, you know, arranging for nurturing the body, protecting the body. In a similar way, we do not make a program for transforming myself. Namaste. Maya, can you throw light on evaluating and analyzing? You told both these words. So can you tell me the difference between both of them, Maya? Yeah, evaluating means verifying within whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not. Analyzing means I am having some state of imagination and I am trying to look into various facets of it. I am applying my logic to it. I am trying to justify it or negate it. So I am doing something at the level of thought. I am comparing various things. I am not able to get to the feeling. For example, I have some feeling of opposition. Right? It is making me restless within. So in place of observing the feeling of opposition as it is and verifying to myself that it is not acceptable to me naturally, I may keep on churning some thoughts out of that feeling of opposition. He or she may do this, then I will do this. If he does that, then I will do this. You know? Right? He is wrong here, I am wrong here, or he is right there, I am wrong here, whatever. We keep on analyzing all such things. We keep on remembering something from the past and become uncomfortable at times. And then we keep on analyzing various issues. It may take hours. You will see that sometimes you are there with yourself. You don't have any particular uh, thing to do, which you have to deliver in some time. You are at ease with yourself. And then some thought comes to you, right? You develop some feeling of position or some other kind of feeling. And you start you know, moving in your thoughts. It may take hours. You spend four hours, five hours, eight hours just moving in your thoughts like that without any observation at the level of feeling, without any evaluation at the level of feeling. You're not even aware what you're doing and we spend hours. So we can observe the feeling, verify whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not. This is one way. Or I develop some feeling within me, right? Observe for some time and then I'm not able to sustain it and I start not doing something at the level of thought or I may start doing something at the level of expression with my body. Are you getting this? Yeah, yes, Baya. Yes, Baya. Nice, Vivi. Thank you, Baya. So what we'll do, we'll observe this for 10 minutes and then discuss further. Try to find out. Try to be aware of your feeling. Right? And then gradually when you are able to be aware of the feeling, verify whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not, whether you want the continuity of it or not, whether you are verifying your feeling or you are just analyzing, judging, negating or extending, whatever, in place of verifying. So many mistakes we can do. Try to be aware and just observe this. We'll observe for 10 minutes and then we'll discuss further. It is 5.40. I'll take up reflections or questions from 5.50. Let us observe for 10 minutes. Nice. So we can share our observation. So let me just ask one thing. So if you could observe these points yesterday, every four hours, is there anyone among us who could do this every four hours yesterday? Or anyone among us who has made this kind of routine for oneself that I'm going to observe myself every four hours as a, as a kind of you know, uh, routine? Then you can share in the chat box. Let us make it a kind of practice, <clears throat> you know, observing oneself. Let this be a part of our routine. If you can do this, that would really help us transform. Yeah, good morning. So yesterday, uh, one of the incidents has happened, sir, uh, while observing the uh, self. And uh, what is the feeling associated to it? So actually, I started with an uh, intention of helping a particular uh, friend so who was uh, all along traveling from uh, south. Not very clear, Bhaiya. Your voice is not very clear. Is it audible, sir, now? Ah, yes. 
yes yesterday uh, while observing the uh, self <clears throat> my intention was to help my uh, friend uh, who was coming from a long distance uh, i uh, i was waiting for him uh, at a point so all intention was to help him so that uh, make the comfort uh, comfort travel to the place uh, intermittently i want to reconfirm uh, to him that i have just reached the place so i made a call to him several times and uh, he could not able to pick up and uh, immediately uh, with the, a lot of assumptions and then previous um, uh, what is called as um, preconditions which we had before uh, joining the uh, uhvs so all the imagination started uh, flushing out over there and uh, it made an ex- uh, expectation that he should uh, just take the uh, pick up the call and then listen to me so this is the event which has happened while uh, doing the uh, uh, self observation so i just have a doubt upon it the desire thoughts and then expectation this three so whether the desire thoughts expectation are interlinked or desire is a uh, wanted or feeling to do something and then thoughts are environmentally dependent and the expectation results as a, a flavor of the uh, uh, thoughts sir. yeah <clears throat> so what you said is somewhat okay so the desire is the feeling part thought is to analyze and compare various options to fulfill that feeling and expectation is what you say as flavor you know some taste that i am getting and some selection that i am doing and they are also interdependent uh in some way whether if you observe then you see that sometimes i have a feeling and it drives my thought and expectation sometimes when i get some information from outside so i taste it it triggers some thought and that thought triggers some feeling so that is also there so this is fine this may happen now once it has gone to the feeling and it is there now that feeling can drive multiple thoughts for example you got a phone call and somebody told you that somebody has met accident now you first tested this information and then you started analyzing what might have happened and then you have some feeling of concern for the person who has met accident now with that feeling of concern you like start analyzing various options how to reach out to that person you know how to talk to the relatives how to do this how to do that all those things you start analyzing and even comparing between options should i go there right now or should i go somewhat later should i first uh, ascertain by making a phone call or should i tell my family members to go and contact you start analyzing various options so you got some information from outside you tested it analyzed it you got some feeling inside and now with that feeling it is uh, now just going on within you the imagination has been driven by that feeling so this way they can be called as interdependent this is being interdependent okay sir. thank you sir yeah nice any other question so let us keep on doing this let us keep on doing this the ease with which i am able to observe my feeling is very important i need to be aware that i am always there with some feeling at some time it may also appear that i have no feeling or how should i label this kind of feeling maybe you are programming and the code is not working you have some feeling you are getting irritated you are getting anxious why is it not working i am trying to debug it at times it is not still working what is the issue right you are not able to make out or label that feeling what feeling should i call it but you have some feeling isn't it you are uncomfortable so in place of to begin with uh labeling it or judging it you can just observe that i have some feeling and i have to be aware of that feeling and then see whether i want it to continue or i want to come out of it if i do not want the continuity of it it means it is not acceptable to me naturally i don't i am not able to give any word to that kind of feeling but i am not able to i do not want to continue with this so this way i can be aware of my feeling every moment and i can keep on verifying within whether it is acceptable to be naturally or not once i am able to observe the feeling so try to do this every moment and if you are able to do this you know, we will get significant results 
So, no, bhaiya, no. I want to ask you that um, in my feel, uh, in my imagination, so uh, some memories come which are which has happened yeah, earlier, but some uh, something also come which has not happened. It is just virtual. Uh, so, I cannot extract some feelings. Say, uh, to, um, today uh, a team has been visiting to our university. So, I was just thinking that how the team will interact with the members and all. So this is a thinking, or maybe sometimes I even think that there is a large field, all the cows and uh, these are, uh, cattle are grazing. So like this, I cannot extract the feeling what actually I am doing. So is uh, what is this? Yeah. Look into the purpose. What made you think about the visit of the team there? What made you think about the large farm and the cattle there? What is the purpose? That is the feeling. Okay. See, we have some aspirations and some concerns. Okay, so for example, you have an aspiration that I am living in a metro city in a congested manner. And now let me have a large farm by the riverside and I may have a, a good um, uh, herd of cattle with which I am interacting and uh, doing so many things. You may please mute TV. So, okay. yes, sir. Yeah. So, you may have this kind of aspiration in you, and that is driving your imagination. Or tomorrow, the visit is there by a team, and they may find faults in our preparation. So, you have that concern also. So, we have multiple aspirations and multiple concerns. With every aspiration, some feeling is associated. With every concern, some feeling is associated. And that is driving my thoughts. So I have to look into those feelings. The feeling with which I have that concern, the feeling with which I have that aspiration. Nice, Didi? Yes, thank clear? you. Sir. No, yes, yes, Bhaiya. Thank you. There are no more hands raised, so we can go to the content now. So this is step two of exercise one, which we are doing. Yeah. Can we go to the next slide where we have the examples? Yeah. So we took these kinds of examples and there could be multiple such examples, like the way Lipiji was sharing, right? So we keep on getting some imagination or the other. Sometimes we feel comfortable with it. Sometimes we do not feel comfortable with it. So for example, in your relationship, if you feel that you are being cheated by someone and then you are thinking of taking revenge for some time and then at the end you drop the idea. Right. You may keep on churning such things so many times. For example, the team is visiting. The NAC team is coming tomorrow. Okay. And maybe, you know, some task is remaining, which I have not done. And I may feel afraid that they may come and point these things out. And then what will happen to uh, the NAC accreditation? And if the boss finds faults in me, then what will happen to me? What will happen to my career? What will happen to the organization? And so many apprehensions we may carry. And we may keep on having multiple thoughts out of, it, out of this. So having concern is fine, but if I'm feeling afraid, it is not fine, right? And it may be the case that I feel afraid for four hours, five hours, and then I drop the idea, let it go to hell, and I'm not bothered about it. Now, what is happening here? I'm not saying that uh, we need to think in this manner <laughs> that let it go to hell, but we may think like that. Now, what is happening? So we may have feelings like this, which are not acceptable to us naturally. We may get feeling of fear. We may get feeling of opposition. We may have doubts. We may also have the feeling of revenge. Right. So you find out during these two hours, three hours, did you have a feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition? Were you comfortable within or uncomfortable within? So you can see that you had the feeling of opposition and it is this feeling which is not acceptable to you naturally. And it is this which makes you uncomfortable. So there are several things. In fact, as we proceed, we'll be able to see that we all have certain sanskars. There are certain things deeply seated in us which make us uncomfortable. There are something, certain things which are deeply seated in us which make us comfortable. Right, and both may not be in line with the natural acceptance. For example, I mentioned this thing like the visit is there and you get fear. There would be some faculty who have no fear, let's say. They have no concern also, that is also possible. There would be some who have a lot of fear 
there would be some who are able to see the relationship that yes there are also human beings like us you know they may find faults with us our intention is pure whenever they find fault i will not feel afraid i'll just share that okay this is my mistake and i'll rectify it fine why not i have to speak something from the stage there would be some who feel very much afraid there would be some who feel totally normal there would be some who feel excited that i have got this opportunity to speak from the stage so these are based on certain sanskars in each one of us so there are certain things which make us comfortable there are there are certain things which make us uncomfortable now based on that we are having some feeling isn't it and that is driving our thought or expectation so it could be favorable at times it could be unfavorable at times now there is a person who has been very helpful to you and you are thinking of doing something good for him find out during this period you had a feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition were you comfortable within or uncomfortable within so you can see that you had the feeling of relationship and it is this feeling which is naturally acceptable to you it is this with which makes you comfortable within so you can observe both kinds of things sometimes you have feeling of relationship sometimes opposition now when you have the feeling of relationship also and you start over evaluating that relationship after some time you develop opposition you have feeling of opposition and you start under evaluating that person and then you feel pity on the person okay this person has done something bad for me but he is not so bad he has done so many good things for me also in the past you start recollecting and then you have feeling of relationship you see that when you are sitting by yourself and imagining about something some relative of yours some person in the society some colleague of yours you have this you know ups and downs of feelings where sometimes you have favorable feelings sometimes you have unfavorable feeling right when it is unfavorable you can see also we'll do this later when you do exercise too it will have some impact on the body when you have favorable feeling it will also have some impact on the body right so all those things can be observed so you are a laboratory for yourself we have to uh, look at myself you know the self as a laboratory and i'm doing some experiments conducting some research verifying validating within and this is also a doable task for me in my life as we have multiple goals multiple tasks to be done in our life in a similar way this is also a doable task that i have to you know conduct research upon myself and transform myself and the sooner we are able to accept it that this is a doable task and i have to do it with utmost sincerity uh, regularity it will have more and more benefits yes any question any reflection out of this so let me just ask uh, whether we are able to do this step 2 correctly how many of us are able to do step 2 correctly as we have been discussing you can respond the chat box ji swayam ka bhaji namaste namaste sabhi ko uh, bhaiya uh, like uh, very recently while i was introspecting so uh, even yesterday so i was uh, i thought like uh, you know there was a uh, like i had a very uh, feeling of compassion as well as a feeling of uh, you know uh, i was very thoughtful about things say for example there was a farewell of a professor in our department and the professor was from last 18 years so um, like almost like an emeritus professor he was but then um, there was like he had to go because he was uh, more than uh, like the required age uh, like beyond that also so uh, literally he broke down uh, while uh, we were just uh, it was just a very informal uh, kind of a thing and i was very much associated to him because he was just my immediate senior so initially actually during uh, when uh, when i started uh, my career and he was one of the interviewers also and after that so there was a lot of opposition also sometimes we were into some conflicts and when at that time i used to always think that uh, he is not a good man he always uh, creates problems for me so um, like uh, i can never uh, go on well but eventually it happened that the assimilation was so good and uh, you know everything went on very well so during his farewell he literally broke down and even all of us were so emotional about it but then i could uh, think that uh, supposing this retirement can be naturally acceptable to me because at there has to come a time when i have to take a uh, like uh, there are these are just the stages 
so and uh, we can be more original during uh, you know post retirement because we have uh, nothing as very much uh, stipulated or uh, regulated actions towards our job or uh, all these things of things so we are these all imaginations went on and uh, you know i did have a very uh, you know um, like i could control my emotions and see that that uh, some this uh, stage of retirement has to be naturally acceptable because this is a kind of a stage and we have to pass through that so similarly i pacified him saying that that now that you have you can write books and he's a very uh, i mean very versatile person though so i said and we can also help you uh, in writing books and uh, your uh, poetries etc so this is how it went on so all the while i was observing that what are the things that is going on within me as well i am reaching to a stage when i also feel that maybe this day comes to me so how do i react but then uh, i felt that yes it should be naturally acceptable uh, sometimes because this is just a kind of a stage so bhaiya this was my sharing was my feelings and imagination uh, well or uh, uh, what was it did i overthink <laughs> nice sharing only thing is that see when i am able to see the human goal when i am able to see my participation in the society rightly okay then i can make the right program also so as you suggested that after retirement he can go for writing poetry or something a better proposition could be like he can attend workshops now you know at least and work with <laughs> himself yes, <on> yes, yes. <laughs> probably yes that's much See, better and we do not have that kind of clarity that vision you know then we are stuck in our life and we get motivated or demotivated by things outside otherwise you can very much decide that i have to work to transform myself and this is an ongoing program i can do this at every stage of my life now when i am working in an organization it could have one purpose like i have to earn for my family and if i have earned enough for my family then it could have a purpose that now i am doing something to transform the society but that kind of clarity is not there if that clarity is there will not feel at a loss at the time of retirement right right so i think i suggest him to because... attend this workshops Yes, this should could be the first proposition. Yes. Yes, <laughs> so, yes. I will. I will. What is the takeaway from the life? Because actually, yes, Bhaiya, we get so much carried away, and <laughs> like since he broke down, so all of us were so emotional. Uh, what I could think of is just to give him some solace because I know he's a writer. So I said, "You start writing, and I'll help you in all possible ways." So yes, but this is a much better option. So I can yes. ask him. And to... they are for all of us. In fact. we can all decide that okay presently i am on a job because i have to earn for my family and at a certain stage of my life i can be able to earn enough for my family but my program for self development continues okay right right my right. program for health continues my program for participation in the larger order continues isn't it so maybe right. in place of feeling at a loss i may feel better that now i am no longer bound to be you know working for physical facilities for so many hours in a day i can now be more active towards developing the self of every human being in the society absolutely absolutely very very appropriate yes yes bhai thank you so much thanks a lot nice didi you have so many responses came that i was asking whether we are able to do step 1 correctly so so many sincere and honest responses have come very nice so this is the assignment for step 2 this is something that we have been taking up as assignment uh, part by part so observe your imagination try to differentiate with your desires that is feeling thoughts and expectations in your imagination now uh, this is something which is little subtle and people are not may not be very clear about this so we have been taking up questions regarding this how to distinguish desire that is feeling thought and expectation so you may keep on doing this continue doing this so that you are able to observe with subtlety the expectation part the desire part the thought part in your imagination right when you have an unpleasant interaction with a close relative say spouse family member or close friend try and analyze the incident objectively what is your expectation at the time what is your thought process then what is your feeling at the base of the thoughts so you may enter into so many unfavorable situations and particularly at home you will see that 
दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशंस कीप ऑन इमर्जिंग है ना व्हेन यू आर इनटू अ हीटेड डिबेट विद सम फैमिली मेंबर मे बी योर स्पाउस राइट और देयर आर सम डीप प्री कंडीशनिंग्स इन योर फैमिली मेंबर्स एंड यू आर स्ट्रगलिंग विद दोस कंडीशनिंग्स बिकॉज़ दे आर नॉट रेडी टू ट्रांसफॉर्म सो द मोमेंट वी पे अटेंशन टू देम दैट काइंड ऑफ feeling starts emerging in us some feeling of disappointment some feeling of anxiety some feeling of opposition you know so that may appear in your imagination so during some unpleasant interaction with a close relative maybe a family member or a spouse or a close friend or even in an organization okay maybe you have given task to some subordinate to complete and this person has not done anything right and now giving false excuses and then you develop some feeling within yourself so look into the expectation part look into the thought process look into the feeling when you do household chores or tasks that may be repetitive what is your feeling at the base of this doing for example when washing dishes do you feel that you have willingly chosen to wash dishes or do you feel that the task was thrust upon you and that you would rather be doing something else which was more important in these two cases when do you feel happy and when do you feel unhappy certainly in the first case you feel unhappy because of the feeling of opposition for that work while in the second case you feel happy because of the feeling of acceptance for that work so while the work is the same the feelings make you happy or unhappy you can see the fluctuation in your feeling you have to wash your dishes right maybe somebody is wash washing dishes on a regular basis and nobody is acknowledging it you feel as if i have been subjected to this and you know, i am being under evaluated in my family and some family member comes and tells you that it's all because of you that we are able to do our daily work daily work so smoothly we keep on doing things silently without asking for any particular attention and then suddenly your feeling changes you are doing the same task same household chore but your feeling suddenly changes that is fine so you can see the you know ups and downs in your feeling you chose to do something right and you are doing it willingly but somebody comes and says that you are doing this because of some hidden agenda for example and then suddenly your feeling changes so if i am aware of my feeling i can see all these fluctuations all these ups and downs all these shifts in my feeling i can directly observe at the level of feeling then i will not be carried away in my thoughts i can very much observe my feeling at the moment and i can evaluate it right i can also then make the right program if somebody is coming and let's say saying something to me i am doing something willingly and somebody is coming and saying to me that there is some hidden agenda behind all this i know that right and i feel very bad now you may get into some altercation with that person also if you are not aware but if you are able to see that now i am developing a position for this person so what could be the solution here right his intention is pure still he is behaving like this then what could be the solution here now if you start working on these lines your thought process would be entirely different so if i am able to observe my feeling and evaluate it rightly okay my thought process would be in one manner if i am not able to evaluate it rightly and also not aware of my feeling it would work in some other manner so from where i am deciding my you know, behavior that is something to observe only at the level of thought or i am aware of the feeling or even i am able to evaluate my feeling so you'll see that we may have lot of contradictions in our thought but if i am able to observe my feeling i can see how it sustains in me and if i can rightly evaluate my feeling at the very base then i can make my program also rightly so these are certain examples which are cited here you may pick thousand examples from your own daily life if you are a homemaker you are that at home you are so facing so many issues daily at home isn't it with your spouse with your child with your distant relatives with the guests that arrive at your home with the in-laws right and you, are, you might be somehow managing your life okay by maybe some borrowed notions this is life this is what happens uh, in general i have somehow got to manage it 
if I don't do this, then what will happen to my family? If I don't do this, then what will happen to my own parents, to me, and so many things. So we might be managing our lives in place of being observant to this subtle level, right? So we all are living as a human being, but we want to live with fulfillment, and that also in continuity. So living is managed by physical facilities. But if I have to live with fulfillment, I need to have fulfilling relationships. And if I want to live with continuous fulfillment, I need to have right understanding, right feeling in me. And for that, I have to go through this. And otherwise, we may have a kind of long you know, life, but that might not have been fulfilling. With all the physical facilities around me, I might not have a fulfilling life. So for that, I have to be utterly serious now. I have to see whether I am going to continue like this or I have to transform myself. And you'll see that the more you are able to transform yourself, you're also able to transform your relationships. You're also able to take better care of your health. You are able to better decide your program. You are not dictated by things outside, the events outside, but you have your own program and your happiness or unhappiness is decided by you, by you, not by something outside. So this kind of awareness is possible. So some examples are given here. Now from your own life, you can see the examples, multiple examples. And I'll suggest that while doing the assignment today, we'll share this assignment today. While doing this assignment today, you can also make a list of maybe 10 such issues where you felt comfortable or you felt uncomfortable. And if you become serious about that, that these are certain things which make me deeply uncomfortable. For example, if somebody tells lies to you, there would be some who, who would ignore, there would be some who would take it very seriously. Why this person is telling lie? You know? Or somebody casts some aspersion on you. Somebody mocks you for something. Maybe it's for some physical feature, for some physical facility, for your language, okay, or for your past. And you become utterly serious about it. You get completely moved by that. Then you will also get to know about your own deep sanskars from here. So we are gradually moving in that direction. Right, and the more we are able to, to observe such issues in us, the more readiness and preparedness we'll have to transform ourselves. So I suggest that you pick some examples from your own life, like the example that is given in the second point is something that we have proposed from our side for household chores or something. But you can pick maybe ten examples from your life. So today, while you are observing, you try to pick your own examples. Right. What makes me comfortable? What makes me uncomfortable? What makes me excited? What makes me depressed? What makes me feel related? What makes me feel opposed? Right? And then try to observe the feeling part. Right? You are uncomfortable, but you may not be aware of the feeling. Try to be aware of the feeling part. And then try to verify whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not. Try to do this the whole day. It would be really... Uh, a rich experience for you. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. Namaste to all co explorer Bhaiya, um, I have a question about uh, acceptance. Uh, when we are um, engaging with others, there is at times that um, obviously we know that their intentions are right and they want us to make happy. But sometimes the situation comes up that we have to accept them as they are and then move forward to um, to um, increasing their right understanding and right feeling and along with myself as well. Uh, but yes, uh, sometimes I can't um, differentiate between natural acceptance and acceptance because some tasks, as uh, we mentioned in this example, that uh, when someone praises us for something that we're doing and we think that that's our uh, duty to do and we have that feeling of acceptance but whether um, it, we call it as a natural acceptance or it's just acceptance as that we are um, doing a, a bhagadari in a relationship um, if that makes sense we want to distinguish in acceptance and natural acceptance some points are clear 
uh, but in situations, uh, sometimes situation comes up, uh, then it's hard to differentiate uh, whether you accept the situation as it is. Say I'm going on a, I'm going by a car something and the car break down and then um, suddenly the feeling changes that I'm going to be late, but then you sort of start to accept it uh, as the situation is. But then obviously the feel the worried feeling comes up that um that I have to be I will be late for work and I have more responsibility. So when we try to verify with the natural acceptance, so then I can't verify in terms so natural acceptance to me is to go to work or to fix the car or because you get uh, then the imagination start working around it. Yeah. So few things to be aware about one thing is whether you are looking at the situation outside and trying to accept or you know, reject whether you are able yes. to whether you are looking at the level of thought mm-hmm. or whether you are looking at the level of feeling yes, so please. if you are able to observe at the level of feeling then only you can evaluate with whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not if you try to work right. at the level of thought, it will not be clear because some analysis will be taking place. And if you look at the situation outside, so many things are involved there that you are not able to decide what to be called as naturally acceptable and what to be called as not acceptable naturally. So you have to observe the level of feeling. Now when I look at the level of feeling, okay, so when my car breaks down, I may mm. have some fear inside. Right? If I do not reach on time, you know, someone would be firing me or someone would be shouting at me, for example. Mm -hmm. And you can observe that this fear is not acceptable to me naturally. Now, if you start looking at the problem in the car, you cannot decide. Now, car is a physiochemical object and it is working on some laws. And it works on some laws, it stops working also on the same laws. For example, if the engine is not working properly, then the car will not run. That's fine. So it is not a matter of observation at the level of natural acceptance. Within me, I have to see what feeling I am carrying. If I am having fear inside, it is not acceptable to me naturally. If I am still having the feeling of relationship with the person to whom I have to report, that may be acceptable naturally. I have to again observe it, what feeling it is, right? When I say that it is feeling of relationship. So at the level of feeling only, I can evaluate whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not. Otherwise, you know, it would somewhat only be a judgment or some articulation. That will not help. Now, when you are reaching on time also, the feeling that was there inside you might not be acceptable to you naturally. For example, I am a super power. I am super performer. Right? <laughs> Whatever I do, I do with perfection. You know? yes. And this kind of feeling might be there in you. That is also not acceptable to you naturally. So I have to observe with this fineness. So when... Favorable situations are there, then also have to observe. When unfavorable situations are there, then also have to observe. And I have to observe at the level of feeling. This is what we are trying to bring attention to. At the level of exploration, at the level of interaction with human being or the rest of nature, things may become favorable at times, may become unfavorable at times. For example, this mobile is working. The network is working. So I am able to talk to you. The network may not be working someday. Sometimes it does happen that I am sitting in one corner the network is not working. I have to move to some other corner. right? Now, if it is working and I over evaluate myself, it is not acceptable to me naturally. If it is not working and I under-evaluate myself, then also it is not you know, acceptable to me naturally. So, I have to look at that part. Just for you. Makes sense. Thank you so much. Nice, Bhaiya. Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. Bhaiya, I have a doubt. Hai. I have a doubt. Slight little... Uh... Uh, you said that desire feeling is based on desire. So let us suppose I'm feeling, feeling, feeling is there at the level of desire. Yeah, feeling is at the level of desire, right? So I'm teaching in the classroom, and there is some disturbance from a, a few students in the classroom. My desire is that every every student must understand this what I'm teaching, right? So the feeling is of nurturing. Uh, suddenly the, there is some student who is the creating ruckus in the class, problem in the class. My desire is still the same, but why does the feeling change then? 
because the anybody... feeling is directly correlated with desire but desire is remaining the same why does my feeling change so again you have to evaluate the feeling here and even the desire here so when you say that whatever i am teaching should be you know, uh, reaching out to every student and i have not evaluated the competence of the students so this desire itself might be at fault because if i am not working for right understanding and right feeling in the children and i am just trying to deliver something for the sake of skill so this desire itself has contradictions within and that's how my feeling is getting disturbed i can see very much that whatever i am delivering in the class is it going to ensure right understanding right feeling in the other or not if not they will work according to their competence they are not feeling interested in what i am teaching because they are not able to relate it to you know, their happiness so i can very much expect from beginning only that this might happen so it is quite possible that my feeling does not get disturbed i can see this very much proactively that this might happen what i am teaching may be liked by me but that may not be liked by the student because the child is not able to relate one's happiness to it so why should the or why will the child listen to this sincerely and carefully right bhaiya thank you right bhaiya thank you bhaiya ji so it is time now